Hello everyone and welcome to this new video and in this video we will be doing something different at the start because we will be browsing social media in this video and to be precise we will be browsing the Instagram. So I will uh, paste the code of uh, the link of our application and I will uh, name a username. So let's say we will take the username of our, my account that is Codeplix and I press enter. So what I get in this web application is the details which is my username, the posts I have kept, the followers and the following. So this is the Instagram page of my channel Codeflix and here is the bio with the full name and here are the present 12 posts. So these are the latest 12 posts and the sizes are different because the size of each, each of the post is different. So as you can see that you can uh, see the 12 latest posts with the likes and the comments of each of the posts. So here are some of the thumbnails of my videos. Here is a video so it is shown in black. So this is how you can uh, see it. So if I change the username of the Instagram user here. So here is a, um, one of my friends page who also runs a YouTube channel. So I will type code grid web. So that is the username. So here is code grid web. So he, these are the posts the followers and following and the link and so as you can see the post lengths are equal so he posts daily UI UX inspiration posts so you can check it out if you want so the length of each post is same because he used to post the same length posts here so as you can see the likes comments also you can browse some uh, famous personalities or celebrities here so I'll type Cristiano for uh, one of my favorite footballers Cristiano Ronaldo so here you can see the post oh that is 179.2 million followers so as you can see he also posts some different size posts so the size of the photos here is different so as you can see you have got a faint idea that what we'll be making today so we'll be fetching the Instagram API and we'll inject the username in the URL and we'll be getting the information like the posts, the followers, the following or we'll be getting the post of the, we'll be, we'll be getting the data of the bio. As you can see here is the bio. Uh, I published some listing content and so that is the bio and uh, I have started recently a Twitter. So this is the thing which we'll be making using the Instagram API. And uh, if we jump onto the code, as you can see the code is very less amount and we'll be using Ajax and GraphQL. So if I jump onto the uh, GraphQL uh, website, which is graphql.org, I'll put the link in description. So what GraphQL is basically that GraphQL uh, describe your data. That means that you will make an API of this kind and then we'll ask for what you want. So what basically we'll do is that uh, Instagram has an API ready in this form which is describe your data. So this is the data which is ready with Instagram. So we'll just ask to the Instagram API using the get method and we'll ask whatever we want. So let's say we want the number of followers. So uh, let's say we want the number of followers here. So we'll just directly ask the Instagram API to get the followers. So here you can see the example of tagline. So the uh, tagline is directly written here and asked. So the uh, API returns with the tagline, a query language for APIs. So if you see here, GraphQL is a query language for APIs, which is uh, a runtime for fulfilling those queries with your existing data. So what the, uh, this means is that you can directly integrate your data with the APIs and ask whatever you want and GraphQL will provide it to you. Direct, just name it and you get it. So you can check the uh, website for more description and we'll continue with the video. So we are here in the code. So as you can see, I have used some CDN for bootstrap and a CDN for jQuery. So I have used bootstrap just to make sure that the application which we make is responsive. So if I open it and see this application is also responsive. So if I scroll down, it will show you in a responsive view. So uh, there is no issue of responsiveness and you can use it in your mobile phones also. 
so as you can see the content changes as per the mobile view so this content is or this web application is responsive also so the likes and comments get uh, aligned as it is and the posts and the following followers also get aligned as they get responsive or the mobile size decreases so uh, we'll get go to the code again so yeah i have some written some uh, styling here which i'll explain it later on when we encounter that division or class so we'll jump on to the html so i have made a container class which if you are familiar with bootstrap you know so uh, there is a row and there are call md3 which is three parts of the screen which is of the size 12 so three parts will be taken by the profile pic so i'll show you hand in hand so if i'll uh, i'll close this uh, chrome so i'll open this i'll minimize this and uh, align it here so the three parts will be taken by this profile picture so as you can see my profile picture is here so three parts will be taken by it then uh, the other nine parts will be taken by username followers and following so if i expand it so here is the three part of the screen which is taken by the username and here are other nine part left which is taken by post followers and following so they will be taking three parts each of the nine parts so if i show it here so you can see call md4 call md4 call md4 so that is 33 percent of the call md9 so for uh, first part of the three parts is by the post by the followers is the second third of the three parts and the third part that is the last part by the following then comes the bio which is i opened again the row then the name name of the uh, instagram page which is codeflix youtube channel because it is a youtube channel so this is the name and then below that there is some bio which is here in the h4 biography and in the division class row then i have made a division with class row of posts so as you can see that division here uh, post and this uh, post will be injected dynamically using using ajax so we'll be using ajax and so for now we have declared the post division with the division class row post so uh, then i have made a function of n formatter which will format the number so if i open the account of cristiano ronaldo if i open the account of cristiano ronaldo here so you will be able to see that the followers are in huge number so it is 179.2 million so if uh, i get it in the number uh, in the zeros forms then the number will be quite huge to accommodate it here so we have to format that number so for that purpose i have written this function so if the number is greater than a million then we'll format it, we'll replace all the zeros and append a M which is a sign of million at the end and if the number is uh, greater than or equal to thousand so if I take the example of the comments so it is 24.9 thousand comments so I appended a K at the end by replacing all the zeros and appending a K at the end so we'll be calling this function while calling the likes, the comments the followers and the shares so this is the ajax the main code which will be getting us the post the followers and everything which we need so if i jump in here this is the ajax call which we make then this is the url which is instagram.com slash php echo and we'll get the username and we'll get it in the url of our web application so we'll be injecting the url or the username from here in the user parameter and we'll be injecting it to the get response of this instagram api and we'll be uh, using a get response as i mentioned earlier so we mentioned the type get then this is the success so if the api get is success then we'll generate a function with the response and the response will be uh, used by us using the GraphQL so 
as you can see here we have used graphql so the first thing is profile pic so i have a division for profile pic which i'll show you so this is the profile pic class which i have made here so uh, i'll uh, go below what this will do is this will take the division profile with the class profile pic and then it will the inject the html in that so the attribute which is an image so src tag is here and the response dot graphql dot user dot profile pic url so this is the uh, form of graphql and this is the form in which the instagram sends us the data and this is the form in which we have to use the data of instagram so we will be using it using this so response which is we get in the function parameter then we will be using graphql dot user and then the profile pic of the url url of the profile pic and then we will jump on to the name of the page so it is dot name class so i will jump above so uh, where is it so this is the username class and then what it will do is inject the full name of the page in the in html form using the response which is here dot graphql dot user dot full name so the instagram sends us the data in the form of full underscore name and we'll use it in this form same is for biography it will inject in the form of html so this is the html tag and we'll get the response dot graphql dot user dot biography then we get the username the number of posts then the followers so as you can see we inject in the form of html but we first append the end formatter function here and if the follower counts is more than a thousand or more than 10 lakh then the number gets formatted on its own then we jump onto the following again inject it in the html form then use the end formatter function first then we also store the post in one variable and we declare a post underscore html as empty so now we get the post dot length as 12 so instagram sends us 12 latest posts of us in that api so the length here will be 12 and uh, we run a for loop to display the post so we get the url in the post then the i that is a 0 1 2 as the for loop runs then node dot display underscore url so this is the url in which the image will be there so this is the url of the latest post so if i open it here so the zeroth post will be this and the uh, url variable will store the url of this image so this image url will be stored in that url variable and then we get to the likes variable which is the post dot node dot edge dot liked by count so dot count is used to get the count of the liked number of likes same is for the comments we want to get the count then we make a variable post html which we declared here as empty and we make it in the style of a html and we will directly inject it in the dot post html tag so here is the dot post html uh, division and we'll inject the post html variable directly into it using the html attribute so here is the division so the division is here so we'll give call md4 which is out of the 12 the four parts will be given to it four parts to the second image and four parts to the third image same way here four parts to this image four parts to this image and four parts to the last image so we'll give that here then we'll give the image source the source will be the url as i said the display url of that image in the img tag then we'll display the likes in the end formatter tag and the comments in the end formatter function so at the end we inject the uh, html which we get here in the dot post division so everything which we get here will be the injected in the dot post class so in this division everything will be injected in the form of raw html like this and uh, as i mentioned the css which we used so here is the uh, class like comment so here is the css for that font size color padding font weight 
and the dot post in which the post will be displayed this is the display function in the form of flex so this is the css for that so that's it for this uh, coding of ajax we have to do only few things that is we have to call the instagram api and use it as we want so it is ready and as i've shown you demo i'll show it once again so this is the result of what we will be calling and getting from the instagram api so if i again run it here i'll call for my account codeflix and i get it here so this is for today's video we have made using instagram api graphql and only and only html so hope you like the video you can share subscribe and like the video and thanks for watching hope it helps